This is another episode of The Godless Anti-Theist. Fox News is waging war on the winter solstice by claiming there's a war on Christmas. The first salvo in the war on Christmas this year has been uh, shot. Our first war on Christmas story of the season. Is it too early to do a war on Christmas segment before Thanksgiving? Uh, it's never too early for that. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Forget spreading cheer. It's a not-so-merry start to the holiday season. The war on Christmas has begun. Tis the season. I don't know what. When starting. Did the... Atheists seem to have ended a 60-year-old Christmas tradition in Santa Monica, California. Way to go, right? Some left-wing loons. And for the first time in 60 years, there will be no nativity scene at all. No nativity. No drummer boy. Uh... And no manger. Right. Why do some atheists have the right to, to squelch the, the holiday fun that everybody else has been having for years? What do you think here? Are, are these atheists ruining Christmas for the... So, in other words, if Muslims, if Muslims were doing this, putting their religious symbols on the courthouse lawn, having re their religious plays, music done at the public secular schools. Are you telling me the Christians wouldn't be whining about religion in the school? When they whine for religion in the schools, they're only whining about their own religion, not other religions. Kids. This ends up being about bullies. This is the thing about atheists. They bully the other religions and they're just vehemently intolerant. Vehemently intolerant. That's atheist, anti-theist, humanist, all critical thinkers are vehemently bullies and violent. It's not the critical thinkers who are telling you if you don't believe what I believe, you're going straight to hell. You're going to burn eternally in hell for not believing the way that I believe on what I believe. If you disagree with an atheist, they say fine. You disagree, we disagree. Time and verifiable evidence will prove one of us right. But when the evidence, the verifiable evidence, prove the superstitious wrong, they merely merely fall back on what? We know what they fall back on. Blind faith. I believe what I believe because I choose to believe it. I have faith, and not only faith based on verifiable evidence, but blind faith. I don't need any evidence. I believe there's a God because I believe the Bible tells me there's a God and I believe in the Bible because the Bible says there's a God and God says the Bible is true. It's circular, illogical nonsense. And now they're claiming there's a war on Christmas. Once again, they're whining about it. When the truth is, since this country was founded, there's been a 200 and some odd year old war on the winter solstice. The winter solstice is a time of year, December the 21st. It's a scientific fact. Whether you believe it or I believe it, or five people believe it, or a million people believe it, or nobody believes it, December the 25th, or December the 21st, rather, is the shortest day of the year, the longest night of the year. We can celebrate that, and you can go back and look at the war on winter solstice to find out why we should celebrate the nature of the natural world. But here they are, once again, claiming there's a war on Christmas simply because we choose reality over fantasy of their superstition. 
And I think it's kind of sad. Sounds pretty bad, right? That's not place. America. That's not freedom of speech. Yeah. Jesus is used to this. That's a, that's the right. that's the good news. Perhaps we need to make sure that some Christianity is seen there. In the meantime, with all the talk about Christmas, is anyone else nervous about Christmas shopping? Well, it's the nightmare before the holiday shopping season. And also, holidays bring up this expectation that you should be over the top happy. You don't have enough money to buy everyone in your family presents for Christmas. Renting a car for your holiday travels could be difficult this year. As your family gathers around the dinner table this holiday, do you know what to do if someone is choking? You see there? Not only are they whining about the war on Christmas, the non-existent war on Christmas, but then they twist it and turn it into consumerism. Bye, bye, bye. Buy something to make yourself happy. No, don't don't be happy because your family is for the most part healthy, happy, together, loving, caring. No. The war on Christmas, bitch about that, and then go out and buy. Fox News, a television network dedicated to superstition and to spewing this superstition out to the world. It is sickening. It just makes you sick that someone who believes in an adult Santa Claus can be elected president of the United States. We had a presidential candidate in Mitt Romney who believes in big pant underwear. Did he have, when he was running for president, did he have his big boy pants on? The Mormon big pants. The Mormons, until about 20 years ago, said blacks couldn't be part of their religion, their church. They believed for years and years, and there are still Mormons who practice. They don't, the national headquarters acts like they do not support it anymore. But there's a lot of Mormons who have more than one wife. I thought that Christianity said that it's one woman and one man. That's propaganda that superstitious propagandized Fox News puts out. One woman, one man. But here we have a Christianity that, that says, no, a man can have as many wives as he wants. The hypocrisy is in your face. They don't even worry about you saying anything about their hypocrisy. They, they do not worry about it at all. What they do is they invent a straw man like the war on Christmas and whine about that because they don't want to whine about the real issues. Because they know they, if they start talking about the real issues of their superstition, if they start whining about one man and one woman, then you could ask them, well, what about the Mormon Christians who have more than one wife? It is time. It is Overdo that critical thinkers come out of the closet. I have this little spreaker, godless anti theist presentation. There is the presentation of the atheist experience. We have a few out-of-the-closet people trying to reach out 
to those who are cowering and conforming and complying and hiding in the closet. That's the problem. These superstitious people aren't the problem. It's the people of common sense, reason, and logic standing around while these superstitious people bully everyone else, beat their superstition over our heads. It is proven through the election 2008 and 2012 that when critical thinkers vote, superstitious people, uh, candidates lose. We have the numbers. You can come out of the closet. You can come out of the closet. Now, those who come out of the closet are they going to have a wonderful, breezy, easy peasy time? Likely not. Because in the Demo in the Republican Party, rather, there are what's called log cabin Republicans, gay Republicans, gay Republicans that stand up, who are in the closet and stand up and bash the gay agenda, who support uh, the one man, one woman of marriage. And they bash other gays. That's sickening. It's sickening enough when a straight person bashes a gay, but it's really sick and twisted when a gay hides who they are and bashes their fellow gays. And that's the situation for us critical thinkers us atheists, or us godless, anti-theists, us humanists, naturalists, free thinkers. I, I'd like to say instead of free thinkers, critical thinkers. If we can get our numbers to be known, then this Fox News fantasy of a war on Christmas when all we are doing is standing up for the winter solstice and our right not to be attacked and accosted and abused by superstition while we are celebrating December the 21st, the real reason for the season. And since we have gained ground in this effort to get back to reality during December, they see it as a war on Christmas because insisting on reality is seen by superstitious people as an attack. And I guess it is. It's an attack on their fantasy. It's an attack on their make-believe. It's their attack. It's an attack on their adult Santa Claus. At least that's how they see it. Because they want you to praise God, their God, their concept of God. You know, e even if there was a God, even if we found out tomorrow that there is a God, that doesn't mean that Jehovah is God. Perhaps if there was a God discovered, it would be Allah. It seems by the facts of reality, there is no God. There is no God needed. It's a fallacy. And they see us choosing reality over their fantasy as an attack, as a war on their superstition. When all it is, is the recognition and the celebration of reality. December is 
the winter soul.